Welcome back to another RPAL video comparison. This time we're taking a look at the Kelty Lumatech Lantern. This lantern is another AA battery lantern, very similar to a previous lantern that we reviewed called the uh, Black Diamond Voyager, which we have right here. As you can see, the Kelty is a bit closer to the RPAL in terms of uh, height and diameter, yet is still quite a bit larger. The Lumitech Lantern comes in at a maximum height of a little over 5.5 inches with a maximum outer diameter of 1.95 inches. And again, the RPAL has a maximum outer diameter of 1.6 inches and is approximately 4.1 inches tall. With batteries, the Kelty Lumitech Lantern comes in at a hefty 5.6 ounces. The Kelty is also made out of anodized aluminum, which is a first amongst the lanterns that we've taken a look at. Almost every single other lantern we've uh, done a comparison video of has been made of plastic or some sort of overmold. The RPAL, on the other hand, is also another plastic um, constructed device, and it comes in at 4.7 ounces with battery. Now, both the Kelty Lumitech Lantern and the RPAL feature a a uh, polycarbonate lens which is both impact and scratch resistant. Uh, the Kelty utilizes a diffused frosted lens with a uh, couple of reflectors similar to the ones we've seen in both Rayovac and Streamlight lanterns. As mentioned before in previous videos, the RPAL has exposed LEDs with no reflectors or diffusers. For a mounting solution, the Kelty Lumitech Lantern has a standard handle hook, which is very similar to something we've seen before, like the Streamlight Siege, which has almost the exact same type of handle. Unfortunately, the Kelty Lumitech handle is significantly smaller, and this could be a little difficult to hang off of a branch or a hook or strap somewhere located in your tent or wherever you're using the lantern. As mentioned before, the RPAL has an included D-ring which can be mounted on either end using the quarter 20 threaded inserts and can be combined with something like the Night Eyes S-Beaner or a magnetic Joby Gorillapod stand which can be used to secure the RPAL to any metal object it upside down or grip it on a branch however you'd like to mount the device. Feature wise the Kelty Lumitech Lantern is extremely simple. It only has two brightness modes high and low. The highest brightness mode is an output of 30 lumens whereas the lowest brightness mode is an output of 6 lumens. The rated runtime for the Kelty Lumitech at the high mode is 13 hours, and the rated runtime for the low mode is 99 hours. The RPAL, on the other hand, has 15 logarithmic brightness settings, and if we were to compare equivalent brightness output levels, the RPAL has a 28.1 lumen setting, which can last uh, 32 hours, or a 37.5 lumen output setting, which can last 24 hours. Uh, down at the lower setting of the Kelty Lumitech Lantern, the RPAL can output an equivalent of 7 lumens, which can last 120 hours or it can output 4.7 lumens for 171 hours. Now again the Kelty Lumitech Lantern is still relatively limited in terms of modes and functionality. There's no way to retain mode or brightness setting. You simply have to cycle through uh, both modes every time you wish to use the lantern. So. If you're in complete darkness, you have to jump to the high setting and then to the low, if that's what you want to do. And in order to get back to the high setting or low setting the moment you turn the lantern off, you simply have to cycle through to get there again. 
The RPAL again retains both mode and brightness setting between on and off cycles. It will always return to the mode or brightness setting that you last left the device at. There are no beacon or SOS modes that the Lumitech has. You can simply turn the device on and off. The RPAL has both flashing beacon mode and an SOS mode, which is great for emergencies. And you can adjust the brightness in both SOS and beacon modes. Now again, the device will remember the mode and brightness setting that it was last left at between on and off cycles. There is no low battery warning on the Kelty Lumitech Lantern. It will simply, I assume, dim in brightness and no longer function. The RPAL does have a brightness uh, low battery warning mode. The device will flash a very unique pattern as it approaches low battery and will continue to warn the user as the battery is depleted. Repeated attempts to use the RPAL in a low battery mode will result in an eventual shutoff, but not before warning the user again with a very distinctive flashing pattern. While the Kelty Lumitech Lantern does have an O-ring for sealing off the battery compartment, the Lumitech is simply rated as weatherproof, which means that it cannot withstand any level of submersion underwater. On the other hand, the RPAL is rated IP67, which means that it can withstand submersion up to 1 meter in depth for approximately 30 minutes at a time. It also means that dust and particles will not impede the buttons from actuating. Now, so far, out of all the lanterns that we've looked at in our other video comparisons, the Kelsey Lumitech Lantern is the only lantern that claims to use a Cree LED. As mentioned before, the RPAL uses several Cree XBD LEDs, and they give off a warm white light as opposed to the cool blue light that we've seen in almost every other lantern that we've compared the RPAL to. Even though the Kelty claims to use a Cree LED, it has the same basic effect as pretty much all the other lanterns we've looked at. So that's it for this particular video comparison. If you found this video to be informative, please subscribe to our channel. As always, you can find updates on our Twitter channel linked below, and we will be continually updating our blog at rpal.rtg.com, which is also linked below. Again, thank you for watching, and until next time.